Have you ever wondered who was the very first person to milk a cow, or even worse, to drink the milk? Well, humans have been drinking milk for thousands of years, and in the West, it's certainly a staple within our diets. But unlike thousands of years ago, today we have so much choice in the different kinds and types of milk that we can buy in the supermarkets. Whether it's whole milk, skim milk, semi-skim milk, along with a whole bunch of other types of milk, it can be very confusing to know which one is the best and healthiest for you. So hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to be more informed about which milk is going to be the healthiest and the best one for you. So let's begin. Before we get into whole milk versus skim milk, I think it's certainly worth noting where the low fat industry came from. In the 1960s and 70s, the economy in a lot of the West, particularly in America, was doing very, very well. When the economy does well, people have more money and therefore have more money to spend on food. When you have more money to spend on food, you tend to buy foods that are high in fats and high in sugars. The reason why is because we tend to crave these foods more because these are the foods that our body requires the most. Towards the end of the 1970s, they started to see more people die from heart disease as well as more obesity. A link was already known by then between high cholesterol and heart disease, and a link was developing between diets that were high in saturated fat and high cholesterol. And a campaign therefore proceeded to help people to reduce fat within their diets. Along with that, the food industry started manipulating foods to reduce the fat content within those products to help people to lose weight. Now, if we look at the results from that, from 1975 to 2016, obesity rates have tripled and heart disease is still one of the biggest killers out there. So arguably this tactic hasn't really worked. Now today there's generally two recognized ways of losing weight. Either you go down the low fat route or you go down the low carb and low sugar route. The low carb route is otherwise known as the keto diet. And the way that works is that when you take on carbs and sugars, when your body doesn't need it straight away, it's going to store it as fat. When you then restrict carbs and sugars from your body and therefore enter technically starvation, your body then starts breaking down this fat to release energy for you to use. And therefore you start burning fat at a very high rate and therefore losing fat, losing weight. And there's actually some research to suggest that those that go on the keto diet, low carb route, are able to lose weight almost three times as fast as those that go down the low fat diet. And certainly it makes a lot of sense that if you eat less fat, you're going to put less fat on and therefore you're going to lose weight. And which is why I think we're seeing a lot of foods with low fat. But in reality, it's not necessarily the best way. If you're going down the low fat diet, quite often you end up upping your other macronutrients, such as your carbs and your sugars. Now, when we look at milk, straight from the cow contains around 4% fat. 70% of that fat is saturates. And saturates in the past has certainly got a bad press for the reasons I spoke about, but it's not that saturates are bad for us. In fact, they are essential. If we didn't have them, we, our bodies wouldn't function properly and we would probably die. The problem is that we have an imbalance between the amount of saturates that we eat and the amount of unsaturates that we eat. And because we eat a lot of foods that are high in saturated fats, we tend to try and reduce those so that we can balance it out, which is one of the main reasons for the low fat products. However, one of the main issues I have with manipulating foods, processing foods to take out the fat content from them is that you are effectively taking away something that was pure and raw and actually organic and making it into something that's a little bit more processed and artificial. And when you do that, you're not only taking away the fat, but you're also taking away some of the vital nutrients that we need that is contained within that fat mainly fat soluble vitamins such as A and E. And therefore I would argue that it's much better to monitor and moderate the amount of macronutrients that you have throughout the day. So mainly in this case, saturated fats, make sure you have less of the whole milk rather than having skim milk and having twice as much and making sure you have maybe less of the saturated fats in other foods and other meals that you have across the day. It's much better to do it that way than have tons and tons of foods that are low in fat, 
the happy manipulated because you're not going to get it in their natural form and you're not going to be getting as many nutrients along with those foods. You're going to be eating a lot more empty foods. Now, when we look at the research between whole milk and skim milk, there's actually a lot of conflicting conclusions. Some research papers suggest that skim milk is better for you and you can lose weight faster with skim milk. And some research papers suggest that whole milk is better for you and actually you'll lose weight much faster with whole milk than you would with skim milk. And therefore, I don't think it's as simple as just milk because you have lots of other things throughout the day. It, what matters is what you're having across the entire day. I think generally whole milk is going to be better for most people. Now, there may be certain situations that for some people skim milk might be better, particularly if they have trouble with reducing the fat content in other areas of their food. And particularly if they like to drink a lot of milk, then maybe it's better to have skim milk, but actually maybe it's better to have a little bit of whole milk and maybe supplement it with skim milk or to mix it somehow. So I hope that has been useful. Please do put any thoughts in the comments below, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if there's any other information that you want to add in, then put them in the comments and, and let's have a discussion about it. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for new videos like this one twice a week and make sure you hit that like button to help me get this video out to more people and I will see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.